Hey everybody, it's me, Jana, aka Triple C. Welcome in to Craft Hour Triple C. As you all come on in, I ask that you please hit those thumbs up. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. If you're new here, uh, I'm Dana and I'm a co share of 23 years. That's right. So if you're coming on in, come on in. I do a craft hour every Monday through Friday at 9 30 a.m. Eastern, unless it's a holiday or an emergency pops up. I'll let you all know. But come on in. I start off with a prayer. After I do the prayer, I greet everybody that's in our building, and then we get started upon our day, all right? So we have a fun craft day, something I've never done before. I figured let's just try it. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited. Uh, um, with this craft hour, I like to do different things, so it might not be just crochet. Excuse me. We might do crochet. We might do knitting, loom knitting, painting. I mean, you name it, card making. There's no limit to what we'll be doing in this craft hour. So if anybody... Sorry about that, guys. I was <laughs> sorry about that, guys. It was a bit too far from me. I was like, wow, this is a little bit far. <clears throat> when it's going to be time for the craft, I'm not going to be able to reach the table. So, yes. Um, again, I'm not in my craft room yet. Uh, that's because I'm waiting to get my lighting set up. I'm, I have to get some lights. I'm going to do some pricing of lights and light bulbing. Hopefully, I can get them sooner and later so that way I can go ahead and get them in. I haven't looked at the price yet, but I'll probably look at the prices today. <clears throat> See things like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the prayer after I get done brewing up this coffee. Y'all come on and hit the thumbs up. I'll be having a beautiful morning today. I got some folders in my cup, guys. So you know I gotta have something to wake up to. I gotta have my coffee in my cup. Allergies are a little bit allergies can be a little bit rough today. I don't know why, but they can be. But they're gonna be all right. Allergies, you're gonna be all right today, right? Our baby boy son, <laughs> our baby boy son. <laughs> Our youngest son went to a day camp today at Boys and Girls Club. So the Boys and Girls Club have been partnering up with a camp. And so it's fun. Instead of them going to Boys and Girls Club on Tuesdays, they're able to go to a camp. They go from 8.30 in the morning to 9 p.m. at night. So he is going to be so tired when he gets home. He's going to be so tired. I'm like, what? He's going to be super tired. I don't know if they feed them meals or is it more of a snack. But all those hours, he's going to be super tired. Our big son, our oldest son, he doesn't have work today. So I don't know what he'll be doing. Our oldest daughter, she definitely has work. She usually works about six days a week. Uh, she went from like four days or three to four days. And now she's up to six, guys. So she's getting those hours in, stacking up for college. I think that's a great idea because, you know, you know, when she's in college, she's not going to be able to work like that. Maybe when she gets a little bit into it, she'll probably do some work study. You know, they have different jobs like tour jobs, bookstore jobs, you know, she have different things like that. But in the beginning, she may be trying to not jump too quickly into the jobs because she's in a very, um, what's it called, guys? A little a crazy, uh, sorry, guys, sorry, my face is itching right there. It's always itching right there. Um. She's like in a you know a little deeper uh, major with psychology, so she's probably like you know what, let me take my time with the working. Let me make sure I have a little something stacked up for those times where I may need it. And plus, you know, yeah, she probably she probably do like a little online shopping or something. I don't know, she'll do. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's amazing! I love y'all talking about your camp experience. It's amazing. I never was able to go to camps, guys. When I was coming up, I couldn't really afford camps. And I live with my grandmother, and they probably had, like, the different scholarships. Like, now I know they have scholarships. I heard people always talking about, oh, there's scholarships for this and scholarships for that, right? They may have had some when I was a child, but a lot of times you don't, like, you don't know what's going on, or there's no one to, like, break it down and explain it to you, especially when you're older. Like, my grandmother's older, you know, like, tell the older people. Hey, don't worry about it. This is going on. You know, like, 
Just in case there are scholars. I don't know if there were, but there may have been. I've always wanted to go to camps. Like, I always like the way they looked and made me to stay in a cabin with a friend. Like, I always like to look, but whatever our kids are going to go to, like, we just want to have the, let them have that experience. You know? Let them have some fun. Why not? So our kids have been been able to experience a lot of different things that we never have been able to. Because I'm telling you, boredom is really can mess up a child. And I'm going to be honest. Boredom really can mess a child up because they have nothing to do and that's when they get into troubles. Not all the time, but I'm not saying it might even be troubles. It could just be to the point where they don't learn a certain thing, a trade or activity or whatever because they've just been super bored. And uh, we got a lot of important ne- children in our neighborhood, so we try to keep them busy as well. Um, and, you know, our kids try to keep them, do different things with them, whatever else. But I just thank each and every one of you for being here. I'm going to go ahead and get to this prayer, and then I can grow some, go some, go in and uh, greet everybody, because I want to greet everybody. I see so many family in the building. It's a blessing to have each and every one of you here. I, I love coming to this craft hour. It's just so fun. So last night on Triple C and Joe show, I was able to make some cards. Shouts everybody was there to the Triple C and Joe show tonight. I don't know what I'm making tonight. Um, I might customize a couple of things. So, uh, you know, usually Triple C and Joe show, me and my husband, we get together, we laugh, we joke, all those things. But we also do a craft. Hubby's been doing his dime painting. And then I've been like doing random crafts. I was working on making envelopes last night. And then I was also making cards. So tonight I either might make some more cards. I might do some, I think I might do some customization or I might work on what I'm doing now. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. I love you all, and uh, feel free to greet each other and have a good time. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for another day and another opportunity. Thank you for everything that you're doing, God. I thank you for breathing life into us. Thank you for waking us up, God. If we're here today, God, you woke us up. So I thank you because someone did not make it on today, Father God. Someone did not wake up. So I'm just asking you right now, Father God, for those who did not wake up, Father God, I ask that you touch their souls for their families. Cover them right now. Help them grieve, Father God. Whatever they may be going through, God, I'm asking that you just touch them. Wipe every tear, Father God. I'm asking that you put them together and push them together. Father God, we bind up every bit of division. Father God, we bind of any bit of separation. God, and today, Father God, I'm asking a special prayer for some family in the building who may have been dealing with some problems in the marriage. God, I'm asking that you help them and strengthen their marriages. I'm asking that you strengthen them like never before, Father God. I'm asking that you show up and show out, Father God, because there's no marriage without you in the middle, Father God. So I'm asking that you come up and show up and you put yourself right there, Father God, so they can know you are where they should be going to. Father God, no outso- no outsiders, no outside peoples, no outside um uh, social medias, Father God, just you, Father God, because you deserve all the glory and all the honor, God. There's no marriages without you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you right now, God, for everything that you're doing. I'm asking for special prayers right now for those who are dealing with lack of finances, for those who have been struggling, Father God, I'm asking you right now to give them a gift, show them their gift right now, Father God, whatever it may be, selling dinners, doing hair, crafting, selling items, Father God, I'm asking that you help them, Father God, to promote it on social media, to post it, to share it, to tell a friend. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, help them to step out on things that they have never been able to step out onto. God, I'm asking that you show them who they are, that they are above and not beneath, Father God, that they can do it. They can do all things through Christ who strengthens them. So, Father God, I'm asking you to touch them right now, Father God. Give them every bit of resources, Father God. Your words say, given, it shall be given. Good measures, press down and shake, press down, shake it together. You call men and give them to our bosom. So, if we are cheerful givers, Father God, I know that it has to come back. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm asking that you help them, give them resources. Wherever it may be, help people to give unto them. Father God, I know a closed mouth does not get fed. So Father God, I'm asking that they begin to let people know, hey, I wouldn't mind this or I'll work for this or I'll give you this or I'll sell this. Whatever it may be so people can know, I will support you. Whatever you're doing, whatever you need. God, I'm asking you to touch those right now who's been dealing with some depression and some anxiety on the day, Father God. I know that spirit comes and creeps up, and I know the enemy is right behind it, and he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So we bind it up in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind up that sad spirit. We bind up the depression spirit. We bind up that anxious spirit. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we send it to the dry place in which it came, because we know the enemy has no dominion here. He has no power here. Father God, I thank you for everything that you're doing. So I'm asking you right now just to take away that sad spirit, that depression spirit, that lonely spirit, that spirit of those nasty thoughts in our heads, the thought of thoughts, the suicidal spirits, take it away right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, those spirits that tell us that we're not good enough, those spirits that tell us we're not wanted, those spirits that tell us that we're not good and we're not great and we're not amazing, oh God, I'm just asking you to take those spirits away right now, Father God, for anybody who's dealing with that thing, we ask that you just take it away right now, Father God, help them to come to you, and every time they feel that negative, nasty, sick spirit, Father God, I'm asking that they begin to cry out and say, oh Jesus, 
Oh, God, help me right now, God. Take it away. And I ask that you just begin to comfort him and wrap your arms around him, Father God, and show him that that's not you speaking. That's not you speaking because you are love and you wouldn't speak such nasty things about the ones that you created. God. So I'm asking that you just show up on their behalf right now, Father God. Deliver them from every pain and every ache, from every sickness. God, I'm asking that you touch anyone who's dealing with any pain, sicknesses, coughs, aches, symptoms, viruses. Father God, I'm asking that you touch them right now, Father God. Give them every resource, every medicine. Touch every doctor and everyone who's over their cases right now, Father God. Protect them right now. Anyone who's done with surgeries, Father God, I'm asking that you help them recuperate from the surgeries. Help them to do the rehabs, whatever they may need to do. The therapies, help them right now, God. I ask you to touch those who are on the roads right now, every vehicle, bus driver, school bus driver, city bus driver, every semi-truck driver. I'm asking that you to touch them right now, Father God. Cover them right now, every vehicle on the roads. As they get to their destination, Father God, I'm asking that you we come against any, we bind up mechanical failures, we bind up police stops, we bind up accidents, we bind up, we bind up slide-ins and slide-offs. God, I'm asking that you help them get to their destination safely, Father God. Help them to arrive safely in the mighty name of Jesus. I you help as they get there, Father God, touch them on their day, on their school day, their college day, their work day. Help them touch them right now, Father God. It'll run smoothly for them, Father God. I'm actually going to touch every first responder, every troop, every military, Father God, everyone that's a servant, everyone that's in the service, Father God, wherever it may be, Navy, military, Army, Father God, Army Reserve, National, uh, the Air Force, wherever it may be, Father God, touch them right now where they are. Touch their families as well, Father God, who are sacrificing their families for us. And Father God, I'm just asking you right now to protect them wherever they are right now, Father God. Protect our minds and our bodies right now. Cover them right now. Help them get whatever resources, Father God. I thank you for their skills. I thank you for their protection, for their helps. Christmas time helps. Anytime we need help, Father God, they come in. They come in in large swarms and groups to protect us, God. So I thank you for putting them there for us to be protected. And I thank you for giving them a mind to want to protect us, God. And I actually touch their families again, their wives, their spouses, Father God, their children who have to go without them. Oh, God, who have to go without being with them. Oh, God, I, I, I could not imagine. Oh, I could not imagine them being without their spouses and their fathers and mothers for such long periods of time just to protect us, God. So I thank you. And I ask that you just show up on their behalf as well. God, I'm asking you to touch anyone that's in this chat right now. Every man, woman, boy, or girl, cover them right now from the crown of their heads to the soles of our feet, Father God. Cover them right now, Father God. I'm asking you right now just to do it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm asking that you cover this chat. I thank you for this platform. I don't take it lightly. God, I don't take it lightly at all, God. So I'm asking you right now. To protect this chat from any spamming. We buy them spamming. We buy them trolling. We buy them cyber bullying in the chat. And we just exit to run smoothly where we can have a great time, God. Or we can have a great time for laughing and crafting together and meeting each other. I love it, God. I thank you for this platform. I don't take it lightly. Thank you for every increase, every donation, every blessing. God, I thank you. I know it's all you. I know it's all you, God. I know that you are blessing those to be able to be a blessing to others, God. Thank you so much. You're so good. You're so awesome. God, I just thank you for this day, God. I bind up technical difficulties as well. And I ask this chat, just run smoothly. We have a great time. I love you, Lord. I thank you. I can't thank you enough, God. You're so good. You're so awesome. In your son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Come on in, everybody. Welcome in to Triple C and Joe Show. <laughs> Come on in. We got Melissa in the building. Hey, Melissa. Go, squad. Come on in. How are you? Y'all grab up Melissa. Her command is exclamation mark. Melissa, life and stitches is here. And her command is exclamation mark. Life. Her tomorrow's her birthday, guys. Can we say happy early birthday to Stephanie? <laughs> we don't know if she's gonna be here in the morning. She might be, she might not be. She might be starting off that, that day off right. <laughs> and it might not be here at the triple C at Creative Creative Crochet. Help me look. But happy early birthday to you, Stephanie. I hope you have a beautiful day. I know you have a beautiful family, so y'all be able to celebrate together. Four men here. Come on in here, four men. Crow joke. Titanium squad. Oh my goodness, she's taking over. I'm just gonna be honest. This young lady is uh, doing a lot of things in this here YouTube world, and she is. I like what I like about her is that she's bringing everybody with her. Uh, she believes in that. I'm like, look at Crojo. Crojo believes in bringing everybody with her. So it's like, okay, hey, I'm making this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But guess what? You can have one of these too. You know, uh, I'm not gonna be. You know, you can you can take part in this. Whatever I'm making, you can have as well. You know. So I'm like, wow, well, okay. So we all can grab up whatever Kojo's making. You know, she's benefiting a lot of people. Everything that she makes benefits a lot of people. So she's doing things for outreach. She's doing things for other people's channels. I mean, she's doing some great things. 
So we want to show some love to Crojo. And thank you, Crojo, for being here. Y'all grab her up. Her command is exclamation mark. Crojo, she's on the Titanium Squad. So please grab her up. We love you, Crojo. Y'all go show some love. Her name is Laura. She's representing that um, the the Hoosier state, just like me. So shout out to all the Hoosiers in the building. Y'all go grab her up. We got, uh, let me see, GGP. Good morning, GGP. Jolene, we love you. Jolene was our amazing members as well. She always comes in and shows up and shows out for us. Thank you, Jolene, for that. You have no idea how much we appreciate you. And she's not over here. She's supporting my husband's channel as well, which is a true, true blessing. Thank you, Jolene, for doing that. Uh, really, really appreciate it. That's a lot of help, you know, bouncing around all the different channels. Everything that we're doing, you supporting. Thank you, Jolene, for doing that. Uh, and uh, let's keep going. We got Melissa's Knit and Crochet Spot. Melissa's one of our amazing members as well. Come on in here, Melissa. What's going on with you? We got all kind of Melissa's in the building. Um, and come on in here. We appreciate you so, so much. How are you today? I'm so glad that you're here. And we got this beautiful gold spot member. Her name is Michelle. Some people call her Nana. <laughs> sometimes I call her Nana, guys. Okay, I do call her Nana sometimes. Michelle, is it okay if I call you Nana sometimes? I don't know if she really cares, but her name, her, she's a Nana. So I don't know if I can call her Nana or not, but sometimes I do. Sometimes if we got a lot of Michelles in the building or something, I can always call her Nana. Like there's no other Nanas here, so you can always call her Nana. I mean, I don't know if you can, but. I don't know if we can, but <laughs> I just kind of call her Nana because, like, there's no other Nanas in the building. So I know she hears Nana. She knows that's me, you know. So I say Nana. So we got to show some love Nana in the building. When you see her, go show her some love. She's been taking over these live streams on Friday nights. So y'all looking for that Friday night fun, clean fun, sweet fun. You know, it's positive fun. You're going to see some beautiful handmade items. You can go to her house, and she's going to even been doing some stream yard lately. So that's Friday nights. And we're talking probably like 7, 7.30-ish, whatever else. Y'all have our bell on because we've been hanging out over there. So let's go to Michelle's house. And that's a little Friday night hangout spot. Um, Let me see here. Let's keep going. I just want to say thank y'all for being here. Love each and every one of y'all. We got Ezra in the building. Shout out to Ezra. How you feeling, sir? If y'all don't have him, grab him up. His command is exclamation mark pipe. He's on that blood new squad. Okay, he's on a crazy giveaway right now. Fat, delicious bags of Hobby Lobby delicious yarn, y'all. I'm going insane. Like, I've been seeing so many delicious hauls. Shout out to everybody who's been able to hit that Hobby Lobby. Shout out to y'all. I'm loving your haul videos. I'm loving y'all get up, y'all getables. Everything, y'all, everything that y'all have been acquiring, I have been loving. So shout out to y'all. Everybody, different cities, different states have been having different things. I'm like loving it. Different regions. I got the West Coast family who's been getting things. My East Coast family who's been getting different things. So shout out to each and every one of y'all who's been just loading up. On deliciousness, y'all deserve it. And shout out to all those who's been going multiple times. Look at y'all. They're like, we got family in the building who's been able to go multiple times, and that's a good thing. I don't know if they're restocking or they just have so much, but shout out to y'all who's been able to get it and get it good. A lot of our family are getting these goodies and they're doing giveaways with this, so this is really great for these stores to do big sales like this because it makes room for us to do giveaways. So that's really awesome. Y'all go grab a pie because he's doing a crazy giveaway right now. Every time you donate. Boop, you'll be able to enter it into some deliciousness, okay? So, shout out to you, Pipey. Thank you for being here. Y'all grab him up because he does a lot of fun live streams, too. Makeup, crafting, sewing. I'm, I'm loving it. Knitting, you, you name it. Melissa says, my daughter was a counselor for Salvation Army Camp. What? She taught music. Wow, Melissa, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? And uh, Stephanie said, no, I never got to camp. I never got to go to camp either. Mama Jay's in the building. We love you, Mama Jay. Come on up in here. I get feeling I hope you're still in the building. I hope you're doing good. I know you had got that second shot. You were dealing. I, I, we had prayed for you yesterday, and I'm like, man, I hope Mama Jay's feeling better. Well, we prayed for you. I'm talking about the stream, and then we prayed for you. I've been praying for you at night as well, but um, I said, Mama Jay, Lord, I hope you're feeling better when it comes to that shot. I know the symptoms are no joke, and uh, I know, like, Mama Jay, she's been wanting to get out and have her, have her ball. She wants to hit up some of those sales herself. So, you know, sometimes you're like, man, let me just go get this shot. Let me do what I got to do. Uh, but uh, I'm so glad that you are here and uh, doing everything that you need to get done as well. And I just hope that you're feeling better because I know that shot had you kind of like where you were a bit out of it. So I hope you're feeling good. Hope you're great. Blessings to you and the family. Okay. And uh, yes, yes, yes. I hope everybody is good. I'm just trying to get prep for the craft a bit because this is going to be a strenuous craft. Okay. Yes. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, please hit the thumbs up. 
Uh, let me see where everybody's at. If I missed any comments. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Sandra D, come on here. How you doing, Sandra D? We love you. Sandra D's on that Platinum Squad. Come on in. Y'all know we got Joke Trinko this weekend. This week. I don't know if anybody wants to play, guys, okay? Does anybody want to play what I, what I call Tringo? And that's a form of bingo. And that's going to be Friday night on the Triple C and Joe Show, 10 p.m. Eastern. All right? So if you guys are up at 10 p.m. Eastern, you guys are welcome to come and play with us and have some fun. All you got to do is submit six numbers ranging from zero. Not zero. Help me out. What, where's the numbers from, guys? One through 90. Okay? One through 90. Y'all can submit those numbers. And then... Um, if you submit the numbers, we'll be coming in to play. And I'll accept those numbers all the way to Thursday. And Thursday, I have three different streams. So, y'all know Thursday, I got three different streams. And that means y'all can come on in and then uh, submit those numbers. So, I never want anybody to be like, oh, what do I do? Come on in before Thursday. I mean, uh, yeah, before Friday. So, Thursday is the last day. And we got three different streams y'all can submit those on. So, y'all submit those numbers in. Uh, last week we have different members, different winners. So we got one winner uh, that I got to send some stuff out to, which is good. I'll send out to, uh, I just got the address. I'm happy about that. And uh, I think that's the last person I got to send out for last time. And then other than that, we are all set for the winners. Everybody got their goods. I believe so. Nobody's messaged, sent me a message, but I, I believe they got their goods. I got the, the um, I got the confirmation that they got their goods. But I haven't seen them since they won. Lord help me. And uh, grab a Sandra Deer command is exclamation mark Sandra. Platinum Squad at this finest. Listen, sometimes it's very hard to plan things. We learn and improve just by jumping and doing trial and, trial and error. That's what we, I like. That's what I like to do these craft hours, guys. This craft hours trial and error for me. <laughs> this craft hours trial. Um, it said, okay, so Stephanie said, I need advice and help, guys. I want to do a birthday giveaway. I don't know where to start as far as legal legalities and what has to be posted. Yeah, you're just supposed to do a giveaway. I mean, a lot of people post the rules and all that stuff. Like, there's rules. I got, like, a little set of rules. I can, I can just email you the rules. Like, it's a rule thing that you can send out. I never really post it. Um, sorry, YouTube. Love you. I never post it. But every time I do a giveaway with certain people, they're like, oh, post this in your thing. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I've never posted. I've been doing YouTube for almost two years. I never really post it. I'll post, like, twice if I do, like, a giveaway with a friend. They're like, post it. I don't want you to not post it, please. I'm like, okay. I'll do it for you. Um, but I'll post, I'll send this, I'll email you right now and just put it in the, just put it in the thing. Just put, you do whatever you want to do. You do a posting like, oh, okay, this giveaway is, I'm not responsible. I'm responsible for this giveaway. Like, oh, you know, YouTube's not, um, YouTube's not sponsoring this. I'm, you know, I'm, YouTube has nothing to do with this. No, like, YouTube's not sponsoring this giveaway. Um, what else can you say? YouTube's not sponsoring this giveaway. I'm trying to find my videos, guys. I'm sorry. So I can give you the, the rules. I got me one of my videos here. Where should I do? Where should I put it at? Which one is this in? It's a giveaway somewhere I got in here. And I told you I use it often. Um, let me see. Oh, I think it's me. It could be in this one. Somebody told me to put rules in my thing. Who was that? Who wanted me to do rules? Help me Um, let me see. It could be in this one. But yeah, so just some that YouTube is not responsible for. Da 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 da. I'm gonna say Mamakusa. Um, and then. To have your rules in the thing, you know. For me, I always do my own rules. I always say, make sure you subscribe to me. Some people are like, oh, you don't have to say that. But I do say that because even if I know, even if they let me go, I don't care. But at least, hey, my number should go up a little bit from you getting, um, you know, blessings. So, yeah, I always say that. I always say, make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure you hit this thumbs up and leave me a comment, a special comment. If you have a special word, put your special word in there. Uh, I usually put my special word toward the end. So that way, hey. You're going to watch it even if you scroll past it, whatever you got to do. You're still going to have to watch something because you got to figure out when that special word is, you know? And I won't put the editing. Don't put the editing where the word is and just make them say because they'll scroll past and see what the word is and all, you know, or a special sentence or whatever. Like, sometimes people can figure it out by looking in the comments, but still do something. Like, I don't know what you can do, but just have some fun. But I know it's, I'm not on the page right now where y'all talking at, so I'm sure people are probably giving you delicious advice right now, but... I'm just going to send you, I'm going to email you the list, the actual rules, right? I'm going to email you the YouTube rules that um, that people have told me to put my things, if I can find it. Where are the YouTube rules? Ah, I know I put them in one of these giveaways because I collab with different people, which is a blessing, right? And when you collab from the family, they're like, you know what? Make sure you put the rules in here. Help me out. I'm like, okay. But I got to find my, uh, where is that? 
Oh, it might be in this one. Let me see. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Where are the rules at? I know I put the rules and stuff. So horrible. They don't use the rules. These rules are meant to be used. Where are my rules at, guys? Somebody might have the rules before I have them. No, not. Let me see. Not in that video. See, yeah, see, guys, I don't put the rules in. That's so, so sad, guys. Um, Let me see. Do I got some rules somewhere? I thought I had some rules somewhere, guys. I, I have them somewhere. It's just a matter of digging. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Well, yeah, that's all you gotta do is put the rules in there. They're like these rules that say it's a disclaimer, like YouTube giveaway disclaimer. I got it somewhere. I ha actually don't know where that could be at. How did I put them in here? Did I erase them after so long? Oops. Where are the rules at, guys? Is it right here? Okay, okay, no, that's a different one. It's a link. Oh, it's a link. Please follow the community guidelines in your comments. Please follow the YouTube uh, comment. Okay. So, yeah, I got like this little, it's a link to it. Okay, that's what it is. I have a link. And it says, one is like, people have like, must be a subscriber to my channel. Must uh, watch entry videos. Okay. And leave a thing. Must be 18 and over. If you want to have a U.S. only, must be in the U.S. Um must follow the YouTube community guidelines in your comments. And that's a, and then you put that up. Uh, you can put a comment, put a link there to that. And then his VoIP, we're prohibited. And any additional fees or taxes are the responsibility of the winners. So you can put that in there too. So I have that. That's one thing I have in mind. Um, but yeah, I'll get into it. What is everybody saying? Hey, B &D, welcome in. Welcome in, VJ. Come on in. How y'all doing? No worries. I'll be there all day. I don't have the energy to go to recliner. Yeah, okay. Don't go to recliner. Just sit there. And if you don't mind, email me those. Okay, yeah, I'll email them to you guys. I'll email them to you. No worries, guys, because I'm kind of like on a whole different page, and I, I don't want to be out of my pants. Yeah, I'll email them to you guys. He said, I was looking at my analytics. 90% of the people watching aren't subscribed. Yeah, make sure you add that. That's a really big thing. And like I was saying, I was telling my husband, we, me and my husband, before we started getting into YouTube heavy, like I was on YouTube, right? Aliyah, Will, Aaliyah Wilson will come on in. Aaliyah Wilson, are you new in the building? Thanks for coming in the building. I uh, appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Triple Z and Joe Show or Creatively Creative Crochet. This is Craft Hour. Uh, I know I got a lot of people in the building who have their suits on. Okay. So I always, whenever we need anything to happen, make sure you take care of it for me, please. And um, so, yes, come on in. Come on in. Okay, so let's keep going, guys. I'm gonna say strange, right? I was confused about that. Okay, yeah, because I well, this is what happened, um, guys. Let me just I'll start the craft a little bit while I'm talking to you guys. It's time to get to the craft, but um, hey, Miss Bevy, welcome here, everybody. Miss Bevy, we love you. Come on in. I'm sorry, I missed I kind of got thrown off. We love you, Miss Bev, bro, Brandon. We love you, everybody that's coming in. Shout out to you all. Hit the thumbs up, Heather. Come on in. We love you. You find a happy planner from Facebook Five, but yeah, they've been selling them babies, uh, left and right. I, uh, Dawn S. I wish Dawn was here. She'd get those babies for 99 cents, Heather. She's been getting them 99 cents. She blessed me with one with some Happy Meal. She was getting them. She said, I don't care about them because they don't have dates on them. And so she said, you can just get them. You know, the only thing that you'll notice, they don't have dates on them, but every every year, every season, they have a different theme. So you'll know, okay, this is 2012's theme because it has sunflowers, you know. Whatever, but who cares about themes? Nobody cares about the break planner. She got me one. It's like a nicer boy that you can put in your purse. Um, real nice. I haven't used it yet because I have a big boy planner my sister got me, and I've been using that. Um, so that way I can just I was, I'm gonna take my time with my planners. I got my notebooks, different things like that. I've been doing my shippings. I learned how to make an A2 envelope last night. So proud of myself. I'm like, look at me, I'm learning to make an envelope because my other envelopes I've been making are just square. I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? So all my envelopes are square. Now I can make a rectangle. I feel special. <laughs> but yes, come on in, Heather. Y'all grab her up. Her command is exclamation mark. Let me get my internet off. I'm so blurry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I was not supposed to have my Wi-Fi on. I was supposed to have my data on. So forgive me for that. Uh, let's get that out of here. I don't know. The internets, they want us to use a larger internet, guys. Because we, we use a lot of internet here. So they want us to upgrade our internet. Okay. But the rough thing about upgrading our internet is they're not, there's no internets in our area that we can upgrade to. Isn't that horrible? 
They said, you using too much internet. Excuse me, family. Y'all using too much internet. I said, okay. They said, we're going to charge you every time you go up over your gigs of internet. We're going to overcharge you. They charge us over 150 bucks so far. And I said, okay, well, what can we do? Can we get an internet that don't have no gigs on it? Can we get an internet that says unlimited gigs? Sure you can. Let me see about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Your your area doesn't allow that. We don't we don't come in your area. I said, oh. So whose fault is that? We don't have it in your area, but so we're just gonna keep on overcharging on. But y'all don't offer it for me. So I can never I can never get out. So y'all gonna keep me here, charge me over and over again, and I have no way to get myself out. So what's the solution? Me to go somewhere else? Me to stop using the internet all the time. Totally. You got children at home who need the internet. You got yourself who's doing vlogging. I, there's no way to get out of it. That's like a hole that they just put you in. And it's just like, okay, yeah. You're trying to dig yourself out, but the dirt just keep falling on you. That, that's horrible. Anyways, <laughs> that's one of my dilemmas that I deal with every day. We got the beautiful Linda in the building. We love you. She's going to celebrate tomorrow, y'all. 12 p.m. You said, I'm really worried. He's 84 and he's in pregnant. What's going on? Granny D, we love you, Granny D. Nick Pearl and Squirrel, but Granny D time sent. We love you, Granny. How you feeling this morning? Come on in. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so everybody show some love. Dana, how do you get YouTube to notice us? How to get YouTube to notice us? Oh, well, are you speaking on uh are you speaking on just like our videos getting pushed out? Whatever we gotta do? Um, well, bro, oh bro, Brandon, you gotta get into that membership me a lot. I'm going to have to have, you want Bro Joe's membership, I'm going to have to have him uh, share some members meetings over there, to because we kind of do them together anyways, some of those members meetings on his Patreon, because we were just kind of talking about that yesterday, so I'll have him uh, post our video over to his, and then people can kind of get a little bit, because he do got good members, and I'll uh, post it over there if he wants to share his member the members tips over there. And he said, my dad, been with my dad, had to get the doctor out to him. Looks like he has fractures. his arm. Oh, well, Rick is taking him to the hospital, so please ask. Jesus, yes, 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 yes. Okay, what, can you tell us what your father's name is? And uh, thank y'all for being here. I'll grab a Granny D. She's at Nick Pearl and Squirrel, Granny Thompson. We get, can we go to Granny's house today? Or tomorrow? Help me, Lord. Look, I'm ready to go to Granny's already. Help me, Jesus. I slept through Granny yesterday. Granny, I slept through yesterday. I don't know what happened. Yesterday, I had a rough day. I was taking some medication. And this medication had me really, really just out of it. And I'm telling you, that will never be taken again, guys. Um, and and you, sometimes you're like, well, this, is this the same thing I was taking before? I thought it was the same thing I was taking. And it was not the same thing I was taking. And I'll never take it again. Joe was like, babe, that's never happened. He was like, he put his foot down. I was like, okay. And it was good when your spouse sees something like, babe, this is that medicine not agree with you. Um, we won't be taking that. I don't want that in your system. I was like, okay. So, yeah, I slept through the day, guys. I was like praying. Our church have a prayer every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I was supposed to be at that prayer. And I told God, I said, God, I know that's one thing I have been missing. I have been missing my 6 p.m. prayer. I have. First, we had bowling, so I was missing it because we was at bowling alley. Now, we're not bowling right now until fall, and now I'm still missing it. And God's like, you're the prayer warrior of the house, and you don't come to the prayer at church and on your on the phone. You just got to call in. You're not coming. And I was like, God, I'm coming today. And the enemy put me at work. I took a medication where I slept through the whole day. And I, I was so heartbroken. I woke up, it was like 6.42. And I was like, oh, Joe was walking in the door. And then he started going live. I said, oh, I missed the, I missed the prayer again. So I know I missed some blessings out of that by not being obedient. And that, that's I'm a prayer warden of the church. So I have to be in a prayer. You know, that don't make sense. You know, I'm taking an off day. Like, you need to be in that building. You need to be praying with the family. So, And I'm going to pray for the beautiful Linda and her father. Um, who's uh just fracture his arm, y'all. Y'all know as you get older, bones begin to get a little bit easier to break, y'all. So we're gonna be praying for him for healing. We're gonna be praying for the doctors, everybody that he's dealing with right now, uh, the facility that he's going to, that they have patience and they're respectful and loving, and they actually care to do their job the correct way. Praying traveling mercies as they're on the way to the place. Father God, I just thank you right now for Linda and her family. God, let me just see um the Linda's father's name. God, we want to lift up Linda and her father right now, guys, because I'm telling you, that's a rough thing. And y'all grab up and her oh, your father's name is Joe. Y'all grab up Linda as well. She's on the platinum squad. Her command is exclamation mark Linda. 
And let's just show some love. Linda, we love you. And Father God, just touch Linda right now. Cover her. Give her a spirit of peace. Give her a spirit of calmness. I know she loves you. And I know she has an awesome father and an awesome husband who are getting to the doctor and to the hospital. Father God, I'm actually touching them right now. Cover the facility. Cover the roads. And protect their vehicle from any hurt, harm, or danger. God, I'm asking that you just touch the doctors who will be examining, doing the x-rays. Father God, I'm asking that you give them healing. Whatever it may be, Father God, heal him. Whatever he may need to be done, God. And let him rest. Let him take it easy, Father God. I give him a spirit where he can just take it easy and, and be calm, where he's not trying to overdo it, Father God, as he's dealing with healing of his fracture. God, I'm asking you right now just to protect him. God, I'm asking that you just give him, reserve his reserve his energy, Father God. I know he probably wants to do a lot. I know he wants to get around. But God, I'm just asking you in this time, God, help him to be seated. Help him to be seated, God. I just thank you so much for what you're doing. And I just ask you just to touch Linda and help her. Let her be a resource to her father. Her father, Joe, cover him right now, God. Cover him right now, God. Mm. Oh, God, yes, I, I receive your peace right now. So I'm just asking you right now just to give him that same peace. Wow, peace that surpasses all understanding. That's the best feeling ever, God. So I'm just asking you right now, touch the doctors, touch the facility, touch every implement, every instrument, every bed, every pillow, every machinery, God. And I'm asking if he has to have surgery, has to have casting, if he has to have rock, whatever he has to have, God. I'm asking that it be done the right way with a steady hand, a patient hand. We bind up setbacks. We bind up any issues. We bind up any technical difficulties, God. And we just ask you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you're doing, God, just do it. Show up because you are a miracle worker, God. You are a promise keeper. So please keep your promise, God. See about your son, Joe. Make sure he's taken care of, God. And touch Linda in the process and let her be a blessing and let her continue to be a blessing. Her and Rick, cover, cover them as they begin to just honor your word where it says, honor your mother and father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We pray your son in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Y'all go over there and grab up Linda and uh, lift her up. Hello, Charlotte. How you been? Long time no see. So glad that you're here. We got the beautiful Brenda in the building. Brenda, what's going on? How we love? We love you. We love you, we love you. We've been lifting you up in prayer. We know we've been lifting you up our Brenda in prayer. Brenda's on the go, so if I don't have her, grab her up. I'm gonna be I'm going to be what am I gonna do, guys? Oh Lord. Why did I do that? I was on the floor last night trying to clean up. And I got my tripod all the way over here. Help me, Lord. Let me grab my tripod, guys. Pardon me. Pardon me, guys. And guess what I did last night too, guys? Y'all gonna be super excited. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I'm coming back, guys. Y'all are going to be so proud of me because guess what? Last night, I went downstairs. Me and Joe, we have like, a, you know, you, you can do like private stream yards. I always tell people, if y'all want to do, like, learn something, I got to give a grand deed to do like a private stream yard. We didn't go live. We just kind of met behind the scenes. If you ever do a stream yard, right, and you like, oh, end it, and you want to do a private stream yard with somebody, you can say, hey, okay, like if grand deed's up here on a Saturday, and she want to talk to Nana for a second. She can say, okay, everybody leave out. Uh, see you later, blessings. And she can end it. And But she'll say, Nana, don't go anywhere. Just stay here with me right quick. And when she ends it, her and Nana will still be there. The stream will be ended, and her and Nana can do a quick talk. But anyway, so me and Joe had a private one because we actually made one that's private. So, like, if we want to test out stream yard, if we want to test out certain things. But anyways, I went to the craft room. I went to my craft room, guys. Michelle Schlieper, we love you. How you doing, Michelle? How are you feeling? I hope you're taking it easy, please. Please be taking it easy, Michelle. We love you so much, and we don't want you to be overdoing it. Okay, whatever you got to do, take it easy. And so, um, what was I going to say, guys? So, um, what was I going to say? Help me, Lord. I forgot what I was talking about. But, yeah, so we went, I went down to the craft room because I said, honey, I want to see what it's going to look like behind me. Or if I do videos, if I come up on somebody's panel, and it, look, it did look good. But I didn't have my lights yet, so it was kind of like, it, would look, it did look a little bit, it was a little dark. But it wasn't as dark as I thought it would be. Has anybody been grabbing up some of those, uh, what was, what was those kind of sales they got out there, guys? What are those sales called? Uh, Cyber Monday sales? I, I mean, not Cyber Monday. Help me, Lord. What are they called, guys? The, the, the Whatever day it is. Okay. I can't remember, guys. It's a, um, you know what I'm trying to say. The chat, the, the, the stuff on Amazon. Help me. The Prime Day deals. Anybody grabbing up some Prime Day goods? Thank you, Crow Joe. Help me. Look. Thank you. I know I, I, if Joe was right here, I could say, babe, what are we talking about here? 
Y'all know I'll be forgetting that. My memory is not the worst. But, and I haven't had coffee yet. I haven't had one sip of coffee. So blame it on the coffee. Y'all know by this time I will have so much coffee in my body right now. <laughs> I don't have so much coffee in my body right now. I haven't had one sip, y'all. But Prime Day, have y'all been dabbling in a bit of Prime Day? Hubby's seen some stuff on there. And he said, hey, they got some good stuff on there. But I don't know if we'll get anything or not. I don't know if it's worth it. Because some stuff could be Christmassy. Because some stuff, you said I got a $150 ring for $50. Ring light for $50? It's like that? So, wow. See, that might be nice. See, I don't. I, I have a ring light, and it has to be connected to the computer. And uh, I really, I didn't realize it. And I don't know if I could ever use an adapter and plug it up. I used an adapter to plug it up, but it was probably a weak adapter. And so it would, like, come on a little bit and go out. But I don't, what if I want to use my computer? That's the only thing I don't like. Like, right now, I'm going to be using my phone to do a lot of videoing in my craft room. And I'm going to be getting, like, a bit the, the studio lights, which is cool. But the ring that I have goes into the computer. I'm like, man, I want a bit of, what do I do? What kind of, can I get something for USB? They do have USB, like, things, right? I think they have, like, a surge cord, and you can use it. I don't know. Help me know. I, sometimes I feel like an old lady. Sometimes I, I I try to keep up with certain things, and then I, I still am behind, and, you know. Hey, Chris. Look at Chris. I'm in the Ricola's crochet corner. Get, get up in here, Chris. How are you doing today? Thanks for joining me for the craft. Everybody getting into some fun. Uh, last week, we did different Father's Day stuff. This week, we just kind of do whatever. <laughs> Yes, I need to. Oh, you go. So, Granny, are you going to get those cubbies? Granny, you better get those cubbies because Granny's been needing those cubbies, guys. She's We're trying to have her, but well, we're not trying to have her. She's going to be showing us a little bit of her yarn um, because I have cubes that have the, the, the doors on them. And then now I have a couple of shelves that are kind of like this. Um, so, they're going to be behind me on my yarn. Uh, and I can't wait to share those. You said I'm doing good. You're watching it while you clean. Okay. There's nothing wrong with your watch on. You said, okay, so put a USB charger in, in your block. In your charger block and plug, yeah, that's what I was doing. But the charger block that I had must have been low energy or something because it wouldn't it wouldn't come on like the light would like flicker a little bit. I was like, oh, I don't want to put a short in it, so I heard and took it out. But I did put it in one of those block of char. What's it called? A charger block or whatever that was really like, mm, like it was kind of. It was like the first thing I saw. It wasn't the actual one that I use regularly every day. But the one I use regularly every day no longer even has a USB on it. I it's like a double ended C. Like the newer phones, like they don't, they're not, they're taking out the USB. There's no USB on them anymore. Like double ended, whatever. Okay, I can't wait to get it. Now, watch the thing, media and the, had a list of helpful content creators. Just what? Get out of here. Okay. You watch Think Media. Okay, I'm going to go check out Think Media then. Do I watch Think Media? I watch this one young man. I can't remember what his name is, but he's really off the chain. And so I did get many ideas, many things were like, Two and three dollars off, but I okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't see like a lot of stuff either. Joel seen like all kind of fat, delicious TVs, but I'm like, we didn't watch TV. But he was like, if we do have any extra money, I wouldn't mind getting a TV because we do want like our TV, like you gotta get new TVs, guys. I'm just gonna be honest. And uh, eventually, we're gonna get one when we start really watching it right now. We really don't care about a new TV, will be good just because TVs now are 10k, what is it called, 4ks. and like, oh, you got to have a TV that looks good, guys. I remember the first time we seen it at my mother-in-law's house. She had a new TV. And I was like, wow, it looks so good. And our TV, I'm telling you, we, our TV was looking like it would have been seen better days. And I'm telling you, you said, <laughs> you said you've been making videos and trying not to do so much as well as working on. That's it. Working on patterns. That's what I've been doing. I've been working on patterns. I released my, I released my 40th pattern. And yesterday, I gave away my patterns 40% off. And all my members got a free pattern. Hope y'all grab it up. I know uh, Baby Lord missed out and she, her, the pattern didn't work. And I did not get to go back to the post and see. I'm so sorry for anybody who did not get to use the pattern, the code. I'm so sorry. Um, I wish anybody would have told me that in the chat so I could have just fixed it. Because sometimes I don't always get to go to the thing. And uh, come on in. Look at David. Yarny dude. Yarny, yarny dudes. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Beardy yarn dude. Come on in. That's BYD. <laughs> come on in here. And, uh, okay, let me get here. And Granny says, Rico, Ricola. Help me Lord. Hey, Inga, how you been? You at the doctor? Okay, well, I hope everything goes well at the doctor. If y'all have David, grab him up, because today he'll be doing live streaming at 2 p.m. Eastern. So, Brenda Law, are you still in the building? Because we love our Brenda, the newbie. She did my pattern, y'all. Brenda, I can't wait to do my live. I can't wait to my videos. Come on, I'm going to shop with Brenda. Brenda, oh my, oh, my gosh, help me. Did Brenda reach her 3K? Hold on before we get to the craft. We're about to do it. I don't know. I know, because uh, Kim Lord has her Trivia Tuesday today. 
And we're not going to step on no toesies. We know we're, there will be no toes in the chat being stepped on. Guys, I hope that you guys please hit the thumbs up. Please, please, please. Can we tell me thumbs we got? I really like thumbs. I really, really like them. And that's the freest thing that you give to any channel. Congratulations, Brenda. Ah, Brenda has reached her 3K, guys. Blessings, 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 blessings. We love our Brenda. Shout out to Brenda, the newbie crow share. She has reached 3K. She will be having a, uh, a celebration of monetization. I don't think it's going to be today. I think it's going to be next week, y'all. So we're going to be celebrating with her monetization and 3K. I said, I told her, I said, sister Brenda, why? I said, watch how God going to do. You're going to be celebrating 3K and monetization. And God is good. Look at there. So God is so good. Crojo, did you reach your 1K? This young lady trying to get her 1K. Has, she has reached it yet. If you haven't grabbed this young lady up, let's get her there. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. That's how we do it in a family. It's all about Crojo Corner. Reach that 1K. Congratulations. I'm telling you guys, we are a part of a family that's unstoppable. Unstoppable teams in that building. I'm so happy. I know David Brown, he's about to be getting monetized soon as well. He's been grinding so hard. Oh, my gosh. Coco, she's been killing the game grinding as well. So we want to go. Who else is next? Um, I know Coco says she's not trying to be monetized, but the hours she's putting in, why not be monetized? Um, let's see what Granny D's doing. Granny D's about to be working on getting that 4K. It's time for Granny D to get that 4K, Lord. I'm so happy. Like the family is moving on up to the east side. Shout out to everybody. Yes, Granny's moving on up. I can't wait to Grand Granny about to get that 4K celebration. Like everybody's moving up, y'all. Shout out to each and every one who's working hard. Y'all didn't get there from y'all didn't get there from just twiddling your thumbs. Y'all got there from like endless nights trying to figure out content to make up with editing your videos balancing family and spousalhood balancing yourselves going to church working full-time jobs y'all did not do this <laughs> very easy y'all worked hard for this so everybody in that building shout out to y'all okay and linda say her next goal is reaching what 4k by the end of the year that's right and keep setting those goals Linda Law, you deserve it. You're going to reach it because you deserve it. And everybody loves our Linda Law. All right? So congratulations to all the hardworking people. June has been a delicious month for all the family. Linda Law reaching her 3K deliciousness. Crojo reaching her 1K. Brenda reaching her 3K. Kelly reaching 2K. Kim Law, 2K. Oh, my goodness. All the families moving on up to the east side. Shout out to you guys. Now, I can't wait to reach my 12K. That's when I'm working hard. And I'm, I'm, look, look, Grace, I'm hungry for that 4K. That's what I'm talking about. It's nothing like that hungry. When you're hungry for something, people can tell because they're like, oh, they must be hungry because they're live streaming videos. Grandy's dropping reading videos, happy mail videos, and doing live streams and meeting and greeting with several other chats. So, and doing challenges and creating her own challenges. When people people see that hunger and people are like, oh, man, I don't know how people can do it. That's that hunger. People are doing this on top of having jobs and taking care of this and that. And that's the hunger. Hey, Oreo. Come on in, Oreo. I was like, I said, where's Oreo at? You said, I want to hit by hunt. I wanted to hit 100 by your birthday, and you did it. That's right. Tomorrow is a beautiful Stephanie's birthday, and she had hit her 100. That's what I'm talking about. You said, I was 199 yesterday, posting video later today. Okay, so where you at now? Okay, so let's see where Melissa's at, Law. Because Melissa's moving on up. Where you at, Melissa? You said, I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see where everybody's at. That's what I always tell you guys. Let me know these goals. Let's get these goals together, y'all. Okay, Brenda said next Tuesday for our monetization. That's what I was thinking next Tuesday, y'all. So be ready for the monetization party for Brenda Law next Tuesday. And then tomorrow, uh, let me get myself in the chat. What am I doing? Okay, tomorrow, then we'll be able to go to um, Linda Law's for a 3K celebration. So she said we can come over and celebrate with her. Guys, I'm dropping this link. This is going to be for me to come up, okay? This is going to be for me to come up and show some love. And I'm going to be crafting. Melanie Lewis, come on in here. How you doing? Thank you for being here, Melanie. She said, hello. Glad to see you, Dan and Joe. Please pray for my fear and anxiety to go away. What? Okay. We'll definitely be praying for you, Melanie. I'm going to write you down on my list. Um, and you said, I'll tell you one thing. Patterns and Patreon paid for the new type. See? There you go, D David. <laughs> David, <laughs> I'm telling you. Tell him, tell him how it is, David. Tell him. You, that's what you got to do here on YouTube. This is a platform for us to be able to do different things, have that passive income. You do your pattern selling, your different memberships, whatever you got to do, guys. The grind is real. Okay? So keep on doing what y'all doing, guys. You got your Etsy shops. I know a lot of people got your Etsy's. Whatever you're doing, no matter whatever lane you're in, you can be a crocheter. You can be not a crocheter. Whatever you are, create something where people can purchase. 
And then that way people are supporting you in different ways or you got your memberships and different things. Um, so that way people can be a blessing. All right. Now, again, if you do do a membership before you are monetized, make sure that you, if you do, if you choose to say YouTube is not for me, you can't get monetized. The hours aren't coming in, whatever else I, you can do all things. The you, but if you do, I'm not saying David because I, I don't see David stopping anytime soon. I just see him just going crazy and doing great things. But I'm just saying for anybody who never does a membership and you have not gotten monetized yet, and the hours are taking forever to get there, do not get discouraged, do not stop. But if you do have people's membership, please gently tell them, Hey, I'm taking a break from YouTube. And if you want to take a break from your membership, I understand, but I'm taking a break. So that you know what I'm trying to say? I'm, I'm just saying this because I recently joined someone's membership before they was monetized. And I, and I told myself I would not do this because I want to wait till they get my time. And they literally said, they said nothing and they just were gone. And I and emailed and I got no response. I have no idea. I, I'm praying that everything is okay. And then when I did get the email back, it was like, oh, I had to take a break. I'm not sure if I'm coming back. And and then I said, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. And so that's why I say, always say that. Uh, but again, we got to lift everybody up. You said, okay. You said, I pray you, Michelle, for going live. What? Okay, so it's going to show you on live long? You see that within an hour yesterday on Daniel's live stream, I sold six man. No, I didn't see Daniel's live. I was probably live myself, so I didn't get to see his live. And let's see, Michelle said trying to work up the courage. Oh my God, I got to see that. Okay, yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. Why not? Why not, Michelle? You can do it. Even if you do it like after me, we can do it like on a Monday or something like that. After me on a Monday, um, whatever days that Whatever days that Kim doesn't go live, go after me, we can raid you. I um, mean, just have some fun. If you want to go like on a Monday after this, and I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like next week, Monday, if you want to, or whatever day. Um, what is today? Today, I don't know if Brenda's going to live after Brenda. You can go like 5 p.m. Eastern today. Whatever. I don't know. Michelle, you let us know what you want to do. Um, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, Michelle. Don't get scared. Just do your half hour. If you want to do a half hour, all you got to do is talk about a certain topic. Just write it down. You know, if you want to talk about, like, like Laura Crojo, if you want to just talk about the worry worms, well, actually, even if you're not comfortable, just give it a try. Yeah, just try it. And like I said, write down those notes. Like, you can just talk about one certain thing. Like, today we talk about yarn. Now, we had yarn talks with everybody. Does it ever get boring? No. We can say, hey, I'm talking about this holiday or I'm talking about my favorite yarns. We talk about discontinued yarns. These are five of my favorite discontinued yarns. And you might run into some people who actually still got the yarn. You're like, oh, I got this yarn. We could be talking about um, knit versus crochet. We could talk about inline hooks versus tapered hooks. Like you can just, and then write it down, write all the different points that you want to make. And then people, okay, you got to go. Okay, see you later, Sandra. We love you. I was going to do my first live tomorrow. What? I have zero energy though. Oh, so give away. Okay. Well, just you know, again, do whatever you feel because you always want to be at your best. And again, like I always say that too. If you're going to do a live stream, be at your best. Never let somebody come. You do a live stream and people see you like, I'm on in here, y'all. This is the thumbs up. I ain't got time for this today. <laughs> I've been to places like that too. Then henceforth, there is no longer, they're not longer doing YouTube either, but uh, praying for them as well. But yeah, there's people who have done that. So you always want to make sure you're at your best when you do a live stream because you never know. A lot of people, we get a lot of people out there, like Granny will admit it too. We get a lot of people who are watching in the background who will say later on, I watched this video. This was good. And are you saying this? Whatever else. People do not say anything in the chat, but they'll be watching in the background. And you never know who's watching. And they get that feel of you and like, mm, they got a little nasty little attitude. Oh, hey, I'm not messing with them. And then they get to tell somebody else, oh, you went over there? Oh, that was nasty. Mm, really? It was nasty? Oh, thank you for telling me. I was thinking about trying them out, so I'm glad you leave that alone. And, and then the next thing you know, you're going to mess it up for yourself. So I agree with you on it. If you don't got the energy, just wait till you get it. But again, that's why, in the meantime, that 12 months, I always say, guys, 12 months, they say we can get monetized in. They want to get monetized within 12 months. That's our goal. This is our time to be building up our hours, our video quality, um, different goals that we want to set, um, future, whatever. That's when we're doing that. And I got to get myself into the stream so we can make something today. Because I'm just chatterboxing, chatterboxing, you know? Because I started out live streams with very tired and gained. And that's how you do it, yeah. But, yeah, that's how you did it. And you did good, too. You had, you had a lot of people behind you. 
And that's one thing too. You got a lot of people behind you that's rooting you on. When you got a lot of people that's rooting you on, you know, that's like they see stuff in you. And you sometimes you'll see some of yourself and your family see something in you. You're like, man, what do you see, Lord? <laughs> people are seeing stuff in me. I never knew people. I'm like, how do you see something in me? Tell me, Lord. Don't see nothing in me. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, sometimes people see something in you and if it, 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 they like, wow, you believe in me. So if you believe in it to me, I might as well believe myself. Look at there. Did you see my comment above? I'm at 3554. Wow. And 15. Look at there. God is good all day long. All God is good. And the enemy was trying to mess with this young man to the point where they, he was trying to, they were trying to get him to where he was like, you know what I'm saying? In that depressed mode, that sad mode. And man, mm, got to turn around. Now look at him. He's doing all kinds of streaming, interviewing people, killing a game, selling patterns left and right. Mm, telling you, that's how it works. Due to my health, let's see, due to my health, I'm very sick and it takes, okay, you get very sick and it takes forever to get, uh-huh, better, yes, okay, but don't, no worries, no worries, you don't have to worry about that, don't, don't get stressed out, do what you can do, you know, don't, that's one thing, we can, we can't, we have, what's it called, we can't, uh, we can't fight, you know what I'm saying, we can't worry about the things that we have no control over, if we ain't got no control over, it's okay, but we just work, we just work at it to do what we can do. You know, that's all we got to do. Do the things we can do. Hey, Miss Music, welcome in. We love you. Welcome in. Oreo, we ain't scared nobody. We ain't scared you off yesterday, did we? Have a Your brother Joe didn't scare you off yesterday, did he? Okay, let me get myself in this stream. How you doing, Miss Music? We love you so much. Miss Music, can't wait to see Miss Music will be live uh, today about 11 a.m. Eastern. You got some? You got a program going on in Miss Music? We love you, too. Usually Wednesday nights, he have a program where somebody sings praise and worship as well as um, we get to hear some praise and worship and a delicious word. I love it. God is so good. Okay, so let me get my light on. Okay. Hope there's something good, guys. Let's see. I got it up too high. Let me turn down a little bit. This light is off the Shane Crow saving my life with this light. He said, uh, we love you, Mr. Music. And life still has ups and downs. And I know, yeah, it's always gonna be ups and downs, you know that. Life always gonna have some ups and downs going, but we the fact that we go through these ups and downs. So sorry, guys. Forgive me. I, I'm, I'm supposed to have it together. I'm so sorry. But yeah, life has ups and downs. But the fact that we go through these different things, it, it's like a training. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like a training for us. So we go through these ups and downs over and over again, so that by the time uh, if we ever get hit with it again, we'll know. Oh, okay, cool. I've, I've been with the, been through this before. And so now that I've been through this, um, now that I've been through this, I know what to look out for. You know, that's how it goes. So yes, guys, I'm over here doing a little uh, popsicle stick uh, project today, and it's going to be like a stand. So don't before y'all look at it and feel like, what are we doing here today? What you got us into? Oops. It's going to be like a stand, guys. So we're going to see how we can, we might not be get it all done today, but. We're going to work on this thing. And this is going to be something I can put on my uh, actual table. My tabletop log. I think I need to bring it down a little more. So I can actually stand up. No. Oops. No, it's too late. Is it set? Oh, set. Help me along. Anyways, we'll, I'll do another one. But yeah, it's going to be like a stand, guys. I can't wait y'all see it. So we're going to do some popsicle stick crafting today. But it's going to be uh, it's gonna be nice. And we'll probably do like a... Um, I got to give me some glue. Where's my glue at? Okay, let's see. Okay, but I know we're always... There always be up and down periods, but I can actually, uh, I usually remember a down period is coming. Yeah, exactly. It comes to an end. Exactly. And then find ways to get out of it. Sometimes we might have get out of it through some reading, some TV, some crafting, whatever it may be. So it's going to be a stand, guys. It's going to be like a phone stand. And then this will be a hook, a hook area. So we'll have this and we'll put the sticks all around here. We're going to get it painted, decorative. We'll have it laid out and there'll be a flat part here. And then we're going to do a phone stand. I might do a phone stand first, guys. What should I do first? Maybe a phone stand. The phone stand's gonna be fun. You work on a new shawl, and I must be. I know you're saying that. Finish a pattern for last week. See, kill the game, David. I'm telling you, you kill it. And that's anybody. I, I got some stuff I'm gonna do for some family who don't have patterns. We got some. We got some stuff going on in the works because I want all of our all of our members in the building to be able to have that. All of our members in the building should be able to have some type of um, you know, what I'm trying to say some type of passive income. And that's how we gotta work on it. If it'll be a merch, whatever it may be, guys, we gotta have that. So that's what we always be talking about in the in the um and I and I appreciate that we do these members meetings, guys. 
And so many of y'all have been just sucking up the energy. And of course, y'all got your own your own sense as well. It's not like just me just telling y'all certain things to do. And y'all like, oh, whatever Dana says, I'm doing. No, that y'all still have your own mind. But I'm just saying, shout out to everybody who's actually tapping into it and believing in yourselves. Because a lot of times we, it, we get scared and we don't know that we can do these things. And then we start doing this like, man, this is fun. Sorry, guys, that's not good. I'm so sorry. But we, we don't know how good we are. And then we start doing this like, man, I'm so glad I started doing this. You know, so glad. So, so glad. I'm telling you. So, so glad. And like I said, I love my pattern selling. But now I'm going to begin to the point where uh, I've always sold my finished objects. I'm getting back to selling those. Uh, but again, since I'm super, super busy, I can't do a, a lot of customs where people can say, hey, Dana, I need this made up, you know, with this color and that. I can't do a lot of that right now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be, look at that. That's, that's, that's some good glue, guys. I'm using Shirt Binder. My Shirt Binder glue, my Shirt Binder um, gun, all of that. But, um, why is this glue? It's, now it's acting up. Come on, gun. I, sorry, I can write. I should use my big boy. My big gun. But yeah. So we're going to go around here, put these on. And of course, it looks a little bootleg right now, but we don't, we're, not, we're not stressing. Because once we get done, we're going to spray paint. You can spray paint this whatever color you want. You know that. You can spray paint it, regular paint it, and give it an elegance. I've seen some people like make turn this stuff into elegance. I used to have a teacher who would do this type of stuff, and he would make like jewelry boxes, jewelry boxes after school stuff, and he would like put gems on it. Like he was like, because it's wood. I mean, at the end of the day, it's wood, you know. So if you can take do another, you can take wood to another level, you know. We see Brenda Newby Crochet done doing that. Her and her husband, they take wood to another level. You don't even realize wood can look like that. Like it's just wood. I love my earrings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Stephanie, I was like, I hope Stephanie got her earrings lost. She didn't put my order in. She didn't put an order in. Lord, I hope you got them. Help me, Lord. I love my earrings because you said I, I haven't been able to do, uh, get done up. But I tell my lady, okay, yes, yeah, post them whenever you get a chance. I appreciate your order. You know, Stephanie was like, I'm ordering something from you, Dana. And that's a blessing. Like I said, I'm going to have ponchos on there. I know some of y'all been hungry for your ponchos. Y'all hungry for your finished objects. And I'm going to get them right on there. I was working on one yesterday, guys, and then I started. What did I start doing? I started working on uh, finishing uh, cards, greeting cards, guys. And I forgot what I was doing, so I'll probably work on that today. While I'm going to, I know I got to go to. You, you email me that? Did you? You email me right? Yeah, I think you email. Did I get your email? I think you email me. Don't pay attention to me, Stephanie. I think I was just asking in the chat one day. I think I think I, you know, Stephanie, please don't pay attention to me. Stephanie, I emailed you and told you I got those things. I don't know. And also, Dana, were you when I was singing a glue gun natural? <laughs> yes. Yes, Ms. Bev. Oh, my gosh, Ms. Bev, yes. I was in there listening, working on my poncho at the same time. And Ms. Bev been doing a great job doing those streams on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. Are you going to be doing like every day, Ms. Bev, or are you just been doing like Monday and Wednesdays? Because we've been having a ball with the planning. Ms. Bev is a planner stream. Anybody needs to get uh, organized. That's where we go. Um, one, one o'clock Mondays and Wednesdays usually, and Fridays, and sometimes she'll even do a weekend where she's just having some fun, and uh, she'll help us to get planner, you know, get our planners together. We can decorate the planner. I'm trying to get Miss Bear to really sell some of the planner sheets, but she she goes through those babies and she'll make them up in no time, and they are super elegant. The pages are could be pricey though. I know she uses like rice papers and all kind of papers, right? I'm like Miss Bear, we use them pricey things, but. I would like to buy some of that type of stuff because I don't really, I don't, I'm just going to be honest. I would like to buy some of that because I don't know how to, we don't always have time to do that. But this is going to stand up, guys. This will be standing up and then we'll be able to put pen, uh, pencils, hooks, whatever else in it. It's going to, like I said, we'll make it elegant. You can spray paint this however you want. You can make it gold. You can make it whatever. But we're going to get it all together. I know it looks a little weird right now. I should have did the phone case quicker. What time? Is it? I might do it. This might not take as long as I thought it would take. I really want it to be more rounded, guys. Um, so I'm hoping to get more of a rounded side if I can. But um, let me see what everybody's saying. I seriously need to work on my planning. So, yeah, that's that's what I was Miss Bev. But she's so good at, at working on that. Like, and she's just how to work on it. And that's why I said, like, that's another step. That's why I said we got so many people here that do cover all areas. And guess what? Crojo's coming out with a YouTube planner. David, if you never got no planner before, get this YouTube planner. It's coming out very soon. And it's going to help us to be able to know when we're going to post and what we got going on. You know, like that's going to be, I'm ready for that one. 
So we'll know, okay, cool. Okay, I got to post on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, 3 p.m. Eastern. That's my time. I cut out for myself. And then whatever else, like that's going to be up to Shane. Guys. Y'all better grab the planner up. You said, I have an awesome YouTube content planner yeah, available in a week. Hey, Melon Fun. Welcome in, Melon Fun. How you doing? Um, Mods, please be watching. All right, guys. And also, can y'all please hit that uh, button for me? Moderators, hit the button for me, please. And Melissa, I want to buy that poncho you're currently working on. That. Please, okay. Most definitely. Look, Melissa, it's already out for grabs. Don't nobody, nobody's getting it. And uh, I may do a pop up this week. Okay, cool, Miss Bev. Get those pop ups in. And uh, let's see, affiliate and sponsor trackers, track list, and more. Man, I'm so hungry for that. That's going to be a great. I'm telling y'all, Crojo is killing the game. Your grab this young lady up. She just celebrating her 1K, y'all. So, yes, Crojo, if you do want to do a giveaway, you can always give away one of my patterns. Um, things of that sort. I know I always say pattern. But this is a little bit easier for me to get out of a pattern. I'm going to have some more stuff. I'm going to have more patterns and more things, too, though. Okay, look, how do I contact Crojo? Look, everybody trying to get in contact with Crojo Law. Everybody love that Crojo. Crojo's amazing. Maybe because she's a Hoosier. I don't know. You know those Hoosiers. They say they're Hoosier amazing. Hey, Whisper, welcome in. You got a headache. Oh, man. I'm headaches for no joke. I'm so sorry. We love our, we love our Barb Law. Oh, it's called a Whisper, though. I don't even know her name is Barb. I just say Whisper. Okay, there goes her um, email. Hey, Oreo. Oreo, so what I miss, Law? Oh, nothing, Oreo. We just over here talking and crafting. I said, Oreo, we didn't scare you at Joe's house yesterday. <laughs> but at Oreo dipping, you said, us Hoosiers have more. Uh, are more than just corn. Yeah, say it again. We more than just corn cornfields. I've had so many people say, "You in Indiana? Is it really country there? Is there? It seems like Indiana would be so boring. There's nothing to do." I'm like, I'm like, man, where y'all been reading? Where y'all, where y'all getting our information? Indiana just like any other state. <laughs> They're like Indiana just seems like it's so boring. There's nothing to do. You guys are just sitting around twiddling your thumbs all day. It just seems like it would be so country. Everybody's walking around with cowboy hats. I'm like. I don't know where you guys are getting this guy. Where are you getting this info from, guys? I'm telling you. And they're like, oh my gosh. Is there any city life in Indiana? I'm like, yeah, there actually is. I live in it. <laughs> I actually live in it. Because that's like the north side of Chicago here. I'm 30 minutes from Chicago. Wow, well, yeah, I'm like, what, 45 minutes away? Mm hmm. He said, still a local gal to me, Lauren. Yes. He said, I'm in south of Chicago. He said, but I'm south of Chicago. Yes. I don't know where I'm at of Chicago. I can't tell you direction, but. I know I'm 45 minutes away. That's all I can say. Lack of sleep got to you. Yep. Mm hmm. I'm glad. Yeah, because that's what happens. You know, I know about that lack of sleep. Oh, you know, I know whisper. I try to give me a nap in the day, though. Like, lately, like two o'clock and three o'clock has been my nap time, y'all. I don't know why. Like, Joe, like, he'll do a live stream. Like, I'd be so tired. He'll do a live stream. I'm like, honey. I used to sleep during all his live streams, and I had to I had to literally start waking up. No, seriously. Because he'd be like, honey, you come on. Stay up to my stream. But, like, right now, he's asleep, right? He sleep during my stream, right? And I'm okay with that, right? Because I know he needs his rest. He woke up early, take our son to camps. I'm cool with that. It's early. So when he does his live stream, I try to get my rest. I had, You know what I'm saying? I used to be in the stream all the time. And then there was a time where I was like, man, honey, can you just go be yourself, you know? Because I need my rest. And so now he's like, honey, I just want you to be there. So that's my nap time. When he go live, I would get me a couple hours nap. Like, you know, what's it called? Uh, 12 to... Two o'clock p.m. nap, and I be enjoying myself. Next thing you know, now he's like, "Honey, please." I'm like, "Well, oh, can I can I get a little bit of sleep?" So now I sleep after his stream, but then I miss other people's streams sometimes. Or I'll be chatting. Sometimes I try to chat as much as possible because I got a lot of family going on too. Katrina usually goes two on Tuesdays. I mean Mondays and Wednesdays. So I kind of summon say hi to her and let her run while I'm napping. It's just like, yeah, the power naps. I need them. And uh, David said I enjoy Bloomington, Indiana. I was miserable in school there, but I love to sit. Yeah, really. So what, what was why was you miserable in school? Was it too big? Was it was it a part more party ish? Because I know we got a lot of family that was uh that goes to like what they called IU Bloomington and a lot of the kids at our school, our daughter's school, they're going to that school. And that's what everybody was thinking. Our daughter was going, like, oh, are you going to IU Bloomington? No, girl. She was going to Indiana State University. Not IU. Like we went to IU of South Bend. It wasn't too bad. It's it's pretty cool. Now, they got the dorms there, you can live there. Cool. But like you said, sometimes you can't be a little bit miserable though. Hey, Helen J, come on in here. We love you. Come on in here. I love power naps, though. 
If I can get them. Oh, I'm southeast of Chi Town. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kojo, because I can tell people that now. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm just southeast of Chicago. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> oh, my God. I love y'all. You said that's a lot of popsicles. Lord, yes, Brandon. We've been eating popsicles. This is 10 years of popsicles we eating, bro, Brandon. 10 years of popsicles. Every time I said, kids, y'all rinse off your sticks, y'all dry them off on a napkin, and then y'all put them in this bag. Just kidding. We literally bought these years ago for kids at our church. We do a uh, vacation Bible school. And guess what we did with these? We made Noah's Arks. So we did a whole bunch of Noah's Arks with these sticks. And that's what we did, guys. So that's what, we, And I still have a lot left over. I'm like, let me just do some of this. And I said, they're making phone stands with these. And you can put st other stuff in it. So you can put like your pencils. It was like a, it's like a desk stand. So I'm putting my, I can put a phone stand up in here. And then I can put um, my phone in here and then my hooks or something in here and it's our pens or something. And I think this is going to be nice. I'm going to probably spray paint, either spray paint or finger paint, it. not finger paint, it. <laughs> or, you know, painting with a brush or something. But I like how people painting with that glossy gold and the glossy silver. I'm like, man, they take it to another level. When you see people painting with that, it's like, it makes it look so delicious. It makes it, you can't even tell that it's like a stick. Like, you seen that? We might do that pop, we might do that uh, spoon craft. It's a plastic spoon you do, like a little dollar tree craft. You grab your um your plastic spoons and you make like a little hangable. We might do that, guys. I was thinking about doing that. But Joe's like, baby, we need to go to Dollar Tree. I haven't been there since we got a vehicle. I haven't been to Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go get those spoons, some Dollar Tree spoons and some straws, and you spray paint them, put your mirror in the middle, and then you have like a little outdoor, you have a little decorative that you can just hang up on your wall. I think that'd be real fun to do. Well, we're gonna do all kind of stuff. He said, thanks, Crojo. Yes, what's going on? Jolene said, I jazzed my Crojo planner up by watching Bev. See? Yes, I'm telling you. Miss Bev is killing the game, y'all. We got to go over there and show her some love. Y she is so good at teaching, planning, and decorating planner. I'm trying to get her. I'm telling you. I hope Miss Bev still a couple of those planner sheets. I need a couple. Because, I, I like, I mean, that's a lot of work that she does on those streams. And she be like, okay, this planner. Like, she make one for her and you make one for her. Lucky, a uh, lucky, um, uh, a lucky, what is it called? A lucky viewer. And then if somebody want to purchase one, she's like, hey, um, you know, you want to do like, or she might do a special giveaway for one. And then after that, the rest are paid for it. I heard guys, one lucky person will win one of these today. And if you didn't win, no worries. You can buy one of these. So, Miss Bell, come on. You got some good stuff to offer. Those sheets are delicious. So, yeah, guys. So, I'm just going around here and getting this done. What time is guys? Okay, so we could. Cool. We might be able to, I might be able to do the other thing too. I didn't realize it was going to be this easy to get it done. And uh, let's see what everybody's saying. So nowadays, I only think my design or my picture is valid. You call it delicious. Now, I only think my designer. Uh, yeah, yes, it is delicious. They really know it's delicious. You would have been doing a great job there. Keep it going. Because now, like, David, I see David's like me now. I mean, I don't think he's like me, but I feel like I see he's got that pattern book. I'm the same way right now, David. Like, I, like, I want to have fun. And I want to make my friends patterns. But I'm having a pattern bug and I'm addicted to writing them now. And I'm addicted to getting them out there. And then people are buying them and it feels good because now I can buy certain things I want to get. And I can, you know, like it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good. Like I just want to have stuff, you know, so on. It feels so good to me to have that. Like this is a gift, you know. But again, you know, patterns are great, but it always is good to sell those finished objects. Those are going to get the job done even better. I got to get back. And I, that's what I've always been known to do. I was, like I said, I was a baby lady. I always made the baby stuff for the baby showers. So I got to get back to my baby goods, too. Um, and I'm getting finally kind of caught up with a lot of stuff. My, and like I said, my balancing act, getting a lot better at it. So like I said, I'm going to have some stuff finished. After, and I got to have I have some stuff that's made up. And they're going to be on the, on the website as well. Some things that are there. Already things that either some people didn't order. I mean, they ordered and they didn't finish. Some display items that were just made for the pattern only, um, that was not used or worn or anything. Uh, everything will be making sure they're clean and washed and things of that sort. And also, there's a pet free, smoke free home. And also, uh, I'll be having items like that on the website, clearance items. So it's gonna be a whole clearance page. I'll let you all know when that is available because some people do want to purchase my finished objects. Uh, and I'll have that on the. I'll have that uh, known to, for people to grab. Uh, so that way people can get it, you know, but some people want those items and uh, there'll be, like I said, discounted prices. So everybody will be welcome to grab them up and enjoy. And let me see, you got to go take care of the kiddo. Oh, the stick. oh my God, I'm so sorry. Okay. Have a beautiful day. 
Oh my goodness. I hope that it'll get over okay before your birthday law tomorrow. We love you, Stephanie. Thanks for coming in and joining us. You are so amazing. Okay. Okay, Nene. Hey, good morning. Hit those thumbs up, guys. We got 26 in the building. Thank y'all for being here. You said yes. I say listen out to oh my gosh, yes. You said now you you met you now make me think. Baby blankets are so easy. Yes. 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 David, I would say like 35 or more. You know what I'm saying, David? Not to be like that. 35 or more because like you want to kind of pay a dollar per inch. Usually you make a, diff, a really good size uh, baby blanket about 35 inches. So I would say at least depending on like like I've seen like people take uh, granny square blankets to another level. Uh, and that's for anybody here. Well, let's, let's just throw some tidbits out here. Let's have a ball. But yeah, you can take them to another level, making them themes, different colors, have a ball. And uh, again, if you want like you see some people you might want to be a blessing to start off with 25. If you didn't take much yarn or whatever else, you can start with 25, but at least 30. You know, like 25 then plus your shipping. Make sure your shipping is, you don't put shipping in there. And shipping can be about 10 bucks or so like that to make sure you're good. So that'd be a total of 35 or, you know, 35 total and a total of 50, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some people, some, yeah. I have a friend who sells her 65 bucks in her granny square blankets. She jazzes them up with an applique and they're totally adorable. So she sells me 65 bucks and you can get whatever you want. You want Mickey, Mickey Mouse on. It's a grand square. You put an applique on that baby. And I have some on my website as well. I mean, on my website, but I have some on my Instagram. Look at me. I got Google my hair. Help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Okay. But anyways, you know, you put your theme on. They're, they're really good. And you know, I'm telling you guys, those are, like I said, themes will get you everywhere. You watch a Disney movie. They say, we're watching the commercials and Disney has a new movie out. Go ahead and make you up something with that theme and watch it fly. Watch it fly. Go on Instagram. And I'm going to give out free nuggets. Go on Instagram. And find those different hashtags. It says baby this, baby that. You know, new baby, first time mom. Okay. Go into their pages and go like a ton of their, like go to the, go to the actual hashtag. And then go click, click the person's video and say, oh, and they're like, oh, and they're holding a baby. Like, oh my gosh, what a cute baby. I would love to make some for a baby. Da, da, da. Ooh, and they're like, who's the person commenting on me? Oh, really? What? Oh my gosh, how much you charge? Boop, there go a customer. I throw out some free nuggets. I throw out, that's how I always do my business, guys. I'm just throwing it out there. And it could be somebody that's, you don't even know. It's going to be a person from a different state. It's going to be a person from a different country. I, mean, I don't know about countries. So I don't know. I can't go that far yet. But it'd be somebody from a different state, different area, right? This is, this is lean. I've got a gangster lean on it. But um, we'll get it fixed when we put it on the thing, when we put it on the platform. But, um, Hmm, and Joanne has still there you go. Lo load up. That's how you do it. Load up. I'm telling you guys, this is the best way to do it. And again, like I said, we love our pattern selling, which is great. But imagine if I was to sell three to four blankets. It didn't take me much longer because I'm sitting here, I'm crafting and talking to you. So I'm not taking out of the time I normally do. I'm actually doing a live stream and I'm talking to you. I'm doing this blanket. I'm reading. I'm reading my chat. I got people up here chatting with me and I'm working. I'm making De Niro while I'm making De Niro. And so now I got this blanket, getting ready to make that up, post it, get it out of here. Uh, and then I sold three or four blankets compared to three to four patterns. You know, so it's always good things to do. I'm telling you, it gets you that hungry. Like, man, I can do this. It makes you, you give that drive. Hey, Tammy, we love you, Tammy. Good morning. <laughs> and Crow is dropping links to my group. Guys, y'all grab up my group. If anybody is not a part of my crochet group, please join in. Also, if you do shop Amazon, I know a lot of y'all grabbing up those Amazon deals. I do have an affiliate link. I'm trying to stay a part of that affiliate link. So if you guys do shop, please use my affiliate link. If you go to grab up Crojo's links, Crojo's planners, please use my link to grab it. If you guys want to save it into your clipboard, I know a couple people say I'm saving it. I got to lock into my clipboard so I just go through my YouTube, my Amazon that way. And I appreciate y'all for doing that because it helps out. And again, uh, I'm going to go through and check. They said I'm available to get uh, $17 off uh, for a prize. I just don't know how to, where they're going to do it. They said they're going to give it to me as a U Amazon gift card. I don't know where to redeem gift cards. If anybody can help me, because we want to do an Amazon giveaway, okay? We want to do an Amazon giveaway. Come on, welcome in, Miss Charlie B. How are you feeling? I want to uh, do an Amazon giveaway. So uh, I just got to figure out where to redeem my gift card. I have no idea where to give it at. They haven't put on a credit. Usually, I know they like put on a credit on your account, so you're cool. They said they gave me an Amazon gift card. I don't know where it's at. I don't know where. I got to go look at my settings. Because I want to do, hey, Iris, we love you. Iris, come on in here. Welcome in. How you feeling? I was a whole minute behind the video. Oh, come on back in the building. It's the same Granny Square. Not exactly, I know, and they're not, they're not my favorite either. 
They're not my favorite either, but I know they can get a job done. But if you're not doing granny squaring, you're doing like a virus. I know a lot of people kill the game with virus uh, blankets. And they look more intricate. They do take it to another level. Uh, but if you're going to do something like a virus or something like that, that's when you don't, you know, we don't, we don't go from 25 or 35 up to 55, 65. That's when, that's when, you know what I'm trying to say? And don't be scared of charging your work. Like you might get something like, oh, no, I can't do that right now. No worries. Just keep on going and then you'll find a person in the front, find a group of people that you need. Do you have instructions in writing for your crafts too? Oh, you talking about for me, for my craft like this? Oh, no, I don't. I don't, Jolene. I kind of just do a little free for all. Because I was selling 60 inches blankets with a matching from $45. Wow. Yeah, you low bought yourself, baby girl. We love you very much. We low bought yourself. And it's okay. It's okay because we all have done that. We all have done it. 60 inch blanket, that's, that's rough. That's very, very rough. That's really, really rough. I have a friend who's done, like I said, 60, 40, 35 inch blankets, 30 to 30. I think she do like 30 inches. I always like to do 30. I like to do 35. I, she do 30 inch blankets for 65 bucks and she sells out. She has tons of sellers on Instagram. I mean, Etsy. She is a huge seller, huge pattern writer. And I saw her from the very beginning. She started off with Apple Cakes and now she's just killing the game. But never low ball yourself. Don't do it. Because it'll make you feel like it's not fun to do. I'm, I've done this. And I always say, I'm going to give y'all some more stuff that I do with my craft, my, my meetings. I started selling my items, guys. And I would lowball myself. And so people would give me the money. And I'm like, okay, first first I used to say, oh, don't give me the money. I'll make the item up. You give me the money after. Okay, that's what I do. Okay? So I say, I'll make the item. You give me the money later. It will work out for so long. And then after so long, I'm like, man, I got to go buy this item. And then all this type of stuff, I gotta get the stuff, and I'm like, now I'm like, man, without it. Then some people are like, oh, never mind, I don't have the money right now. I gotta deal with that. That's another headache. Next, I started saying, hey, just give me half up front. I'll do that so I can buy the material. People was okay with that because they're like, okay, I know you gotta get your stuff. It was okay. That was cool. Then I had to deal with, I need a whole amount <laughs> because after I get this, now I don't have anything for myself. I need the whole amount. And if you buy some online, we can't give them half amount. I mean, well, now you got the afterpays, whatever. Anyways, but I'm just saying for the most part, we can't, we have to pay the full amount to get the item. So once I got the full amount, I started realizing, man, my mom asked me this one day. And that's what got, she's, she, she doesn't crochet. She doesn't do this. But she asked me, she said, how much are your sweaters? And I was like, oh, I just draw, I was like $50. I just draw a number. And she's like, oh, okay. So $50. But then you got to go buy your yarn after that. I was like, yeah. She said, so how much your yarn usually costs? I was like, oh, 15, 20. She was like, oh, so you don't sell your sweaters for $50. I was like, how oh, much you talking about? If you got to buy your yarn out of that $50, then you don't sell your sweaters for $50. Then you sell your sweater from like 20 or 25 bucks. And then you got to go buy your yarn on top of it. I was like, oh, my. Like when my mom said that, I just felt like this low. Like I was like, oh, man. I realized how low I felt. I was like, I'm just getting jipped. I'm jipping my, I'm jipping myself. What? What? I'm jipping myself. And I'm putting time in. Like, this is not a project I'm going to do today and be done. Like, it's going to take me two to three weeks to do. Or at least a week or something, whatever it's going to take me. It's going to take me some time to do. Even if it takes me a day. Like, even if I got a project, something like, oh, I just made a hat. It only took me two hours to do. So I only charged 10 bucks. No, you don't charge 10 bucks for a hat. <laughs> I, I had to learn all these steps, guys. And I was like, I'm just getting gypped, y'all. I was getting gypped. I'm like, oh, my. I've been getting gypped. So, yeah. Like, we just got to go through that process and learn it, you know, because some people have us feeling like we overcharging. So, we be like, oh, I don't want to charge too much. I, like, people will make you feel bad about making your money off of something that you worked hard to do. So, that's why you. Oh, that's why we lowball ourselves in mind. Because we're like, man, people are going to say, oh, man, you know, people are going to you know, and that's why we do it. We don't do it because we just, you know, we don't. Like, oh, I don't want to buy pay that much. I don't want, but if it's hard work and work, make sure you take your time with it. Make sure you put all your love in it, um, and things of that sort. Now, if it's something that you've never done before, you kind of experiment. You could do like an experimental price. Now, it shouldn't be lowballing yourself, but it could be a discount. Um, but we, I've done that. I had to go through all that. Yeah, it's easier to sell patterns. Yeah, it is. It's easier to sell patterns, but it's it. But you got to promote it though. You got to promote that pattern. You, you you can't just make a pattern up and say, hey, you buy it because you got to know how to sell it. People are not going to buy it if you don't know how to sell it. You, you you have to know how to sell that pattern. You know what I'm saying? What's going to make your pattern? You know, well, we can do more this next week, though. We'll do more this week. I'm, I'm giving away all the tips and tricks. 
Well, most everybody here is members, so that's okay. <laughs> most everybody, good. thank you, Lord. I, I thank you. But yeah, patterns is easier, but it's less money unless you're just going crazy with it, you know. But like I gotta say, I always have a. I like to sell finished objects. I've been. I love to sell finished objects because I don't gotta worry about it. I, if I go, if I can sell up a few different things, I made this amount compared to this. It took me so long to get this amount of money for a pattern, unless I'm selling my patterns at a larger rate. I got one friend. She said our pattern ten dollars, and no matter what it is, it could be hat ten dollars, scarf ten dollars, <laughs> like everything. That's it. She got one flat rate. Sometimes she'll do a free, like a for the percentage off, but that's it. She and people buy it. People are like, oh man, they want it. Choose an hourly rate and track their hours. Mm, that's good too. Track do hour and night. So I need to go back and look at yesterday's members. Yes, look at that membership meeting, Lord. Yes, look at those members meetings. So we're gonna have one next, not next week, but week after, guys. But yeah. But again, I start doing that for my time. I like to, I like selling patterns for my time. Like that's always good. Like just in case you you sell finished objects all the time. Like me, I was always selling my finished objects all the time, custom items. So I had to like that was taking so much out of me, and I was like using up. So I didn't have no more time. So, like you said, you got a pattern to fall back on. If you don't got no time to make up this, and you got the pattern to fall back, hey guys, I don't have no time, but I did have whipped up a few patterns for you. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So I do love the patterns. Like I say, it's so much easier. And uh, it, it is, it is a lot easier. I'm, I'm not knocking the patterns, but I'm just saying, just in case you need that extra quick bang for your buck, I would say whip up something that people need. Whip up a cute straw, whip up a cute uh, whatever, and then go from there. That's how you do that. You whip up something cute and sweet. And then there you go, boom, you know, so that's like selling, you know, a hundred patterns in one, you know, and then you're like, oh, snap, you know, so, yeah. But again, make up something that if you don't, yeah, you said, sorry, leave early. Okay, yeah, we about to, we about to go to, we about to go over to, who's about to go live? Hey, is it Chandra? I know uh, Kim Law, she'll probably be doing a bit of some trivia. And uh, see that TTFN? <laughs> TT, I, was, I watched a movie and it used to say that it was like a based in the 60s, 70s, I don't know. I used to love that, like TTFN, I loved it. How you doing, Sister Chandra? Welcome in. You said they sell your stash from your sample. Then sell your stash. Yep, that's how you do it. Exactly. Look at Crojo. Crojo always coming in with them, too. Okay. Carrie's going live, Lord. She's going live, Lord. Carrie's going. We love you, Carrie. Carrie's not been on this. Look, how you doing, Carrie? What you, are we working on something today, Carrie? I'm going to be doing this. I, I'm going to work on the phone stand. Maybe we'll finish it up tomorrow because I do want to do the phone stand part and we can put it all together because we got to make a bed. And then we got to do this. is going to be for the pencils and the papers. We're going to put it all together and get it all neat. It's, it's going to be neater. I know right now it's not looking like much, guys. Forgive me. But um, we're going to do the phone stand tomorrow. So we put the phone stand together and we're going to put it all together. And let's see exactly what it's going to look like. Okay. It's going to be fun. I promise, guys. So here's when we're going live. And uh, it's honestly, it was a sale. If I was to sell a baby, it would be 7500 There you go. There you go. Say it again. That's how you got to do it. Say it again. Say it again. That's how you do it. You have to do what you got to do. So Crowder says, I'd rather make them take an order than vice versa. Then choose from what I want to make. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Like I said, I like to do it all. I like to do my customs and people can have an idea of what they want. Uh, but I also like to do certain things. Certain things, you know, it's gonna, certain things will sell. You know, and if, especially if you're known for that, certain things will sell. And then you can make that baby sell. If you have, if you have, to, have to learn how to be a salesman too. If you learn how to be a salesman, you can sell anything. I have a cousin who said she can sell a person a dream. And that's how much of a salesperson she is. She can sell a person a dream. And she really can. She's rich. She have, she make you want whatever it is. You, you can have it yourself. And you'd be like, okay, well, I don't really need this. And she will make you buy. You'd be like, oh, okay, maybe I do need it. I could use another. By the end of the time you talk to her, you could need another. And that's a, that's a gift right there. That is a gift. Okay, so we about to go over to Carrie Lord. And uh, let's see. Uh, who else is it? Carrie Lords and Kim Lord. And let me see who's all on. Let's see if Kim is getting ready. I know Kim is going to do some trivia today. I know Miss Music, he's going to be doing his premiering. Okay. And then I just got an awesome, uh, I just was blessed to be able to become a mod. And uh, I've been doing some, I was doing a little freelance modding in a couple groups. Okay. So, and, and, and YouTube channels. So I've been going to different YouTube channels. Y'all don't be scared to do this. I'm going to give you another tip. I will give this away to my free family. To my, I will give this away to my members only. But we got to go to somebody's house, Lord. We got Kim has a reminder set for Wednesday. And also, she must have canceled today then. Kim, Lord. But she went live yesterday. So that's what happens sometimes. She went li live last night. So she might be done with her Tuesdays. She might be doing Monday nights and then Wednesday mornings and then 
double dipping on Saturdays because she's been doing that money, that money, and then come back on that Tuesday. That's too much, I think, for Kim. I don't know, but it could be because she's been killing the game on Monday night. It's been fun. But um, so I've been doing like a little freelance body and bigger channels. Like I'm talking about over case, right? And I'm like, y'all hit the thumbs up, you're doing different things. Yesterday I went to the chat and they was like, oh, triple C say something. And I was like, okay. I just typed in the chat. Because I, I I went there and I was chilling. And next thing you know, they turned me into a mod. This channel has over 200 and something K like a uh, YouTuber. I mean, subscriber. And I was like, went crazy. I told Joe, Joe walking in the room, he's like, what? I was like, look, man. I was so excited, y'all. I'm like, well, I'm a mod there. So they have so many people in the room. I'm getting tear eyed. And so they also do small, low budget films. But their low budget films have actually have real deal stars in them. They're not huge, huge stars, but there may be stars that are just up and coming, but they haven't been in a decent amount of films and musical artists. So I'm going to be making some props for the films. And that's what I was starting off doing. I was like, okay, y'all making mini films. Let me make props for y'all. And it was like, cool, let's make the props. Now I'm mod in there. So when people see you blue in there and you, it's only like five people that's blue in the stream, that shows like, ooh. I'm like, I'm super excited. So I'm about to be making some different things. I'm about to be making some different props for the movies. And like, they're, they're, they're hungry. They're like in the stage where we are. Like, we're hungry for more. So you know the small movies are going to be getting big. That's just how anybody, everybody starts from a small spot. I'm excited. Like, I'm going to be having my props in the movie. I always say that. I said, Joe, I said, I want to do that. I want to be actress, and I want to have my props in the movies. I can start. I got to start off somewhere. How I can be actress. Next thing you know, you never know. Maybe I do a little small acting. I mean, I'm I, like I said, I had to be humble because I used to always tell my baby. I used to say to Joe, I was like, man, I don't like those little low-budget films because, th but, like, nobody has a, oh, no, there's not many people who have a million dollars to start a film. God had to humble me, and I started enjoying what I would call the independent film. That's what they're actually called, not low budget. I, some, I use my vocab, my words. This is not low budget, this is independent. These are people funding films from sponsorships or out of their pocket working hard to get this money to create a film for, we, for our enjoyment. So I've been enjoying the independent films. Shout out to everybody who's making them themselves. Like I, shout out to everybody, y'all. You say, yes, reach for the star name, wow. I'm excited, I'm like, what? So now I'm like, I'm going to be mine. They don't usually go live all the time because they're movie making. So that's a good thing. So I'm always going to be in their stream, like mining heavily because they do like special events and they'll do uh, reactions. They do different things like that. And so I get to come in. I'll be in there. I got a notification. So I always usually come in all the time anyway. But I was like, what? That was, that was fun. Everybody, when I come in here, it's like a family ordeal. So it's just good. But I'm excited. Independent we have the best. Life. Yes, they do. They really do those independent. I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm loving it. So I'm just happy. You say, yeah, so happy for you. East side, here you go. Oh, uh, I can't wait. Hey, we all going to East side together, though. You know how that is. We all, some people in the chat have celebrated stuff today, guys. We got milestones in the building. 3Ks, 1Ks, 2Ks. Guys, we got some milestones. Shout out to each and every one of y'all. So we got to go to some family houses, guys. So I guess we're going to carry house. We want to go to Carrie's? Y'all want to go to Carrie the Yarny Elephant's house? Let's do it, y'all. So I'm going to drop a link to Carrie Yarny. She is on that platinum squad. She probably going to have us something, doing something. Y'all bring some yarn with y'all. She usually have us doing like a crochet along. If y'all like to crochet along, let's crochet along. It may be like a dish cloth. It could be anything. So what we're going to do is go to Carrie's house. If y'all want to come over there with me um, and have some fun, hit that thumbs up. Let's do a triple C raid over to Carrie's house. And uh, I'm going to work on this this poncho because Melissa said she wants me to hurt me get it done. <laughs> so I love each and every one of y'all. And uh, thank y'all so much for joining. Again, we're going to see if David, he'll be live today at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then after David, we'll see if Brenda Law will be live at 3 p.m. Eastern. And then Kelly Crochet Adventure should be live today about 7.05 p.m. Eastern. And then we're going to see if Sis Jeannie will be live today at 8 p.m. Eastern. She did lose her uncle, so we want to pray for her. She does have a birthday on the 29th, if anybody wants to be a blessing to her. Also, um, we also want to be back at Triple C and Joe's tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. I will be working on either some more cards or personalizing some different items, okay? So I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all take care, be sweet, and please don't be ugly. All right, so we're going to do a triple C raid. This is the link right here. Triple C raid. I didn't even, I just talked triple, triple C. Let's do a triple C raid. If y'all can just come on. If y'all can't stay, no worries. But if y'all can at least hit a thumbs up and uh, all those type of things and say, hey, triple C raid, let her run in the background, however you want to do it. It's going to be a good time. I love y'all. And I thank y'all for joining me. Hey, Consuel, we love you. Okay, so Friday at 11 a.m. And you know what? What did I do Friday? I think we had to do something for our son on Friday. And I missed, I missed my Tammy. 
and it's 12 p.m. my time. I cannot believe, I can't believe I missed my Tammy. I said, Lord, I missed my Tammy on Friday. I'm so sorry, Tammy. But that's gonna be Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. Okay, so I make sure I make sure I write that down and get you an announcement so people can know Tammy. Okay, so we can have some fun to go to Tammy's house. Okay, forgive me for that last week. I can't. I said I missed my Tammy. Thank you, Iris. So yeah, let's go to Carrie's house and see what she's working on over there. And uh, so we gotta make sure we go over to Tammy's house, Lord. I like how you said it because you know sometimes I mess up your name, Tammy. And I said Tamara Diaz Valencia Valencia Diaz. So I like how you got it. Tammy Crochet Blessed. Okay. All right. All right. So guys, we're gonna get on out of here. I love this pen. Who got me this pen? Helen J. Oh, I love it, Helen J. It's a staple super glide. Oh, delish. Okay. All right, and that's going to be Friday. So we're going to go over to um, Carry Logs, Fridays, 12 p.m. East. Okay, and we're going to do 11 a.m. Central. All right, so love you all. Take care. Be easy. Be sweet. Don't be ugly like Granny always tells us. We love y'all, and I appreciate all the love and the support. Thank y'all for joining me with Craft Hour Triple C. That's Monday through Friday. 9 30 a.m eastern we have started our desktop organizer and this is the first part we're doing no popsicle sticks this is the first part tomorrow we're gonna work on the phone case so we're gonna see how it comes out Lord. all right <laughs> i love y'all and thank y'all for joining me see y'all later guys take care and thank you for joining i love each and every one y'all take care guys <laughs>